couldn't be happier about that. A lot of players got to play a lot of minutes today, which is really good. Um, as you saw in the fourth quarter there, we had four freshmen, I think, in the game. And that was very, very, that was a lot of very important minutes for them. Those, you know, six or seven, eight minutes, whatever it was, that's important minutes for their growth in our basketball team to have to help them get ready for January. And um, that's why they played so much. That's why we, um, um, I kept them in there, even though they had some struggles at times defensively, but it was important for them to get those minutes and they finally clicked in and did really well. I couldn't be happier with where we're at right now as a team. And we're, we're growing. We've got a lot of room to continue to grow and we'll continue to grow, but really happy to get this win. Glad to be five and three. And I couldn't be, couldn't be more thrilled right now. Cedric, just thoughts on your game tonight, kind of a bounce back after how the last game went for you. Kind of got to spout you a little bit to know you were kind of clicking defensively, offensively. Well, I just came out there to play. I ain't like, I wasn't thinking about anything to just to keep me, going, to hold me back. Coach said last game that y'all's time in that in that gym, Terminal 23, felt like we kind of spurring this four game winning streak on. Did you feel a change? Like y'all came out of came out of that gym? Did y'all feel like y'all were a team? Yeah, cause just cause of Michael, he's my boss. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, he's you know. But you know, it, we did feel like everything clicked in after practice. Just from your perspective on the court, what is it that y'all are doing right now? You know, during this kind of winning streak, what, what are you seeing on the court though? But uh, he always talks about enthusiasm, and energy, and we bring it now. Like you can actually see. It. And coach, I know, I know you were talking about you know early in the season that. This team defensively has to has to get better. What did did you see out of this team today that you really were impressed with on the defensive end? You know, we're we're, we're continuing to grow there. Um, it all starts with our pickup and I'm picking the ball up, making the ball turn, and um, you know we got a little out of sorts there for a minute or two where we we didn't I didn't think we played particularly hard as we need to and got to play the scoreboard a little bit and that's not the way we do things. But um, you know it's just our energy and our enthusiasm. We're very energetic. We're, we, we got a lot of enthusiasm. We're excited about playing. We're, we're a good defensive team. We're too athletic not to be a good defensive team. And so um, I just see what she said. I see her enthusiasm being there. And it all starts with Erica Sisk. Erica Sisk is locked in playing defense. Our team is locked in playing defense. And it's a big burden you got to put on her because you got to have her do it every night. She can't have an off night. I have to have her every night because when she's locked in, we're locked in. We're real good. Um, I want to brag about Sandrika. She airballed her first three shots. A year ago, she wouldn't have shot it again, and I'd have been over there screaming and hollering. My face would have been red, and I'd have lost a little hair. Um, but today, you know, she she airballed her first three, shot them over the rim. It didn't phase her. She just kept playing. That's her. That's her growing up as a player, and um, she's she's pretty good right now. But she's going to be special before it's all said and done. Kind of